Hey guys, it's Chris back again, and I just wanted to give my impressions of the new Twin Peaks Season 3, uh, Episode 1 through 4 at this point. Um, obviously this is going to be full of spoilers, so if you've not watched the new episodes, do not watch this video. I urge you to go and watch it immediately because, um... I'm quite favorable of the new season so far. But anyways, uh, first off, the series started with a kind of a two-part first episode. Um, it's about two hours long. And uh, so far, I'm really happy with it. I mean, I didn't know much going in. I don't think anyone knew too much about it, but... Uh, yeah, I kept my expectations low, but it's good. It basically brings Twin Peaks, the, uh, you know, the cinematography, the character style, you know, uh, the character dialogue, stuff like that. In my opinion, it's very Twin Peaks still. Um, I've read some complaints already that it's not quite, uh... Um, that, like, whimsical, you know, lightheartedness of the original Twin Peaks. And I can kind of see that, but for me, it had just enough of, like, lightheartedness so far uh, to still feel like Twin Peaks. Uh, it's definitely different. Um, for me personally, I like the new characters, uh, so... It, it basically starts right where we left off in the Black Lodge with Dale Cooper. Um, I was glad to see the uh, one-armed man return right away. Um, you know, they had Laura Palmer in there. They had Leland Palmer. Um, they had the giant, so that was cool. Um, it was very cool to see the doppelganger... Uh, Dale return. Um, looks like he's basically taken on the appearance of, you know, Bob's uh, fashion sense with the long hair and kind of dirty, grungy look. Um, <laughs> I thought it was funny his first appearance when uh, he goes to the uh, hillbilly's house and he like... I forget what he did. I, I, I thought he, like, karate chopped the guy at in the front porch who had the shotgun. I found that a bit comical, but it was kind of badass at the same time. I really like... I wasn't sure what they would do about Bob since the original guy that played Bob is now deceased. So it kind of makes sense that, you know... Uh, Dale Cooper is just Bob now, and he, you know, he has the long hair, and like I said, he, he wears kind of the dirty clothes and stuff, and they make his, I don't know if I'm just imagining things, but they make his face look really tanned and leathery, like he's just rougher appearance, so that's pretty cool, um, yeah, and then he, Bob goes and visits this, like, hillbilly family that he's doing some sort of uh, illicit dealings with. I don't know if they're drug dealers or what, but he basically run in with a dangerous crowd, which makes sense. I had assumed that Daryl, uh, well, doppelganger Daryl, I keep saying Daryl, thinking of like Walking Dead, um, Dale, uh, the doppelganger Dale, he's... You know, he's been running amok in the world, you know, doing evil stuff, killing people, etc. So, yeah, I that's about what I imagine. That that hillbilly family, though, that was freaking weird. Like, I don't know, they, they must have been inbred or something because, you know, the two sitting in the corner, one was in a wheelchair and the other one was just, I don't know, just weird looking. And, yeah, that was a bit strange and then uh they introduce uh dale's doppelganger um girlfriend or pff, doppelganger girlfriend dale's doppelganger girlfriend 
I can't fucking talk right now. But, uh, yeah, um, I like the whole setup with Dale, um, Doppelganger Dale. And then a lot of the scenes in the Black Lodge were very cool. A lot of great visuals. One thing I noticed is uh, the visual style with the special effects is very reminiscent of the 90s show. Like, it's got that kind of cheesy, low-tech look to it. But they also incorporate, like, kind of some newer computer animation stuff. So it's a bit like a mix of practical and, like, newer effects. And then they, they introduced this whole new thing with the, uh, in New York, there's a billionaire, like, running some sort of science experiment with a glass box. And they got this new guy, you know, watching over it, changing the, I think, the memory cards with the cameras that watch this box. And I assume the glass box is some sort of connection to the Black Lodge because later on, uh, Dale, the real Dale, emerges from the Black Lodge into this glass box. But, and this is all spoilers, again, like I'm saying... And at one point, like, a demonic-type figure basically gets unleashed from the box and uh, kills the guy watching it and, I guess, his girlfriend that he was having sex with at the time. <laughs> I'm like, okay, here's a sex scene. Nothing bad's gonna happen. And then, of course, uh, <laughs> they get torn to shreds. So, uh, yeah, and I was just surprised seeing the old characters and how much they have aged you know um seeing bobby's act i don't i'm not going to remember all the actors names i think dana ashbrook or something like that the guy who plays bobby in the original series he's just totally gray now and you know when you saw twin peaks he was kind of the younger uh badass cool guy or whatever and now he's old and gray and it's just it's just jarring because you know all this time has passed but you know it's been you watch the old show over and over and you see them young and then you go to this new show and they're all old it's just it makes me feel old as well but uh yeah it was interesting i like uh the the principal guy i think the actor's name is matthew willard or something it's the guy that was in uh slc punk man he's old too now he's all gray and yeah i just you know you remember these people from the films you watch over and over and they were they look younger and now they're you know gray it's it's just jarring, but I really liked the principal character. I liked um, his whole storyline reminded me a bit of Lost Highway. How, uh, you know, in Lost Highway, uh, what's his name? The, fuck, the guy from Independence Day. I can't, I'm not going to be able to remember a lot of this stuff, just so you guys know. Um... But in Lost Highway, the husband kind of wakes up in, in jail and finds out he killed his wife. While uh, Matthew Willard, or whatever his name is, um, he, he supposedly killed this woman. And he, th he thinks it's all a dream because he dreamed about going to her apartment and his fingerprints are all over it. And that kind of threw me for a loop, like, uh, you know, did he really do it, or did he dream it, or did, you know, an inhabiting spirit uh, take over his body, and he went and did it, kind of like uh, Leland Palmer. Uh, I, I feel like with Leland, he also, you know, thought stuff was basically a dream, but, um, uh... Yeah, I don't know. That that was a bit confusing. I wish they would have uh, expanded that a bit, but it looks like his character is maybe a one-off thing in uh, just the first episode. But it was interesting. I like the interaction with him and his uh, 
wife when she finds out and talks to him in the jail cell and he gets really angry and kind of violent it made me think that he's got some sort of spirit inhabiting him and uh yeah there's there's a lot to talk about and uh you know all the scenes in the black lodge and dale trying to get out of it was very confusing it's the kind of thing i feel like i'll have to watch a couple times but i do like the fact that they're expanding upon the idea of uh uh, these spirits and stuff traveling through these electrical currents. Uh, Dale had to emerge from the Black Lodge world through a electrical socket. And just that whole sequence of him like floating out in space with this weird woman caretaker with the the fucked up face like... Climbing up on top of this capsule, floating in space, and starting up like, like starting up a generator or something, and getting shocked, and then flying out in space. That was so, just so trippy and just so like David Lynch like. I really enjoyed that. Uh, as a lot of people have pointed out, these sequences are very Eraserhead like. So uh, I appreciated it. Some people are criticizing it because it's too. David Lynch to Eraserhead and not Twin Peaks enough. But, you know, I think the original Twin Peaks was kind of held back because it was on CBS and they had to make it a bit more, you know, mainstream appeal or whatever. Um, but there was some good comedy stuff in there. Uh, you know, the, uh, the whole casino scene when uh, Dale gets out of the Black Lodge um, and he's winning all the jackpots from the slot machines and then uh, that old lady's following him around and which slot machine is going to win next and uh, what she called Mr. Jackpot. I, I love that. Um, yeah, that was good. I like the first part when he's like pointing to the... Uh, the slot machine right next door and she's like fuck you it's mine or something i like that and then she wanted to steal his winnings at first like all the coins and then she looks up and see that there's a camera and she's like fuck you camera yeah i i enjoyed that and then there was some comedy that i was kind of like eh that's just kind of awkward was uh uh michael Sierra's character which is uh um, oh God, I can't believe I can't remember all these characters' names now. Um, ah, fucking hell. The, the cop guy and, uh, the, the receptionist. God, I, uh, I'm sorry, like, I like Twin Peaks, but I, I just, I'm forgetful. But, uh, their son, God, why can't I remember his name right now? <laughs> I feel awful because I, I really like the series. Um, but uh, their son, Michael Sierra, he had the scene where he arrives on his uh, motorcycle. And uh, from what I know, it's supposed to be like an homage to Marlon Brando because uh, uh, their kid was born on the same day as Marlon Brando. I'm sure it was a reference that David Lynch wanted to put in there. But I don't know much about uh, Marlon Brando, so I didn't really understand what was going on there. But, uh, yeah, that was, I guess that was meant to be funny, but I didn't really understand it because I didn't get the reference, I guess. But, uh, yeah, uh, overall I'm enjoying it, but I definitely am confused, but it's good. Um... It's kind of like more unrestrained compared to the CBS version. People are definitely saying it's more like the film Firewalk with me, which I can agree with. Um, it's got some darker tone than the CBS show had. Although the CBS show did ha have its dark moments, but yeah, it seems like it's veering off into more lightheartedness. Um, 
like now that uh, Dale's out of the Black Lodge, he's from what I can understand, he's kind of like a newborn infant. He can barely talk. He doesn't seem like he has a lot of memory of his past life. And I assume that's just the effects of being in the Black Lodge for, you know, 25 years. Um, didn't the uh, Indian guy Hawk, didn't he say something about it would destroy a man completely if he didn't have the will to, you know, survive that? So I assume the old Dale is just completely destroyed. And it's kind of sad to see because I wanted to see the old chipper, you know sharp as attack style Dale, but, um, yeah, it, it just seems like once he came out of the Black Lodge, he inhabited a new body. That's another thing. The new body that Dale inhabits now is some dude that looks exactly like him, but the, uh, the arm inside the Black Lodge says that uh, the new body was manufactured for a purpose. And that's weird. That's something that hasn't really been mentioned in the series till now. But uh, it's interesting. And I should mention that too. The arm, uh, the, the one-armed man's arm that he cut off, is basically a tree in the Black Lodge with like a head on it that looks like a, like a pulsating brain with a mouth almost. And yeah, that's very uh, Eraserhead-like as well. I really enjoyed that. Um, but yeah, it, it's strange. Like, I guess the inhabitants of the Black Lodge can make new human hosts in the real world. And, uh, and then Dale came out of the Black Lodge and took over this guy who was in the middle of fucking a black hooker. And... <laughs> Then he pukes on the carpet, and yeah, that's, uh, it's weird. It's like kind of whimsical, but it's it's strange at the same time. So, I don't know, there's there's a lot of details I could touch upon. This video's going on kind of long, but uh, yeah, it's it's definitely like nothing that you see on TV anymore. And I like it for that reason. It's definitely not the exact same as uh, the 1990s show. Oh, and by the way, I just remember the uh, Andy is the cop. And I forget his wife's name, the receptionist. But yeah, their son is played by Michael Cera. But yeah, it's, it's weird because it's like the same cinematography... The same character mannerisms, but it's in 2017. So you have, like, this modern technology. You know, people have smartphones and computers and stuff. And seeing Doppelganger uh, Dale using a Microsoft Surface is kind of weird. And uh, they kind of poked fun at it with... Uh, uh, God, what's her name? The, the receptionist lady. Someone tell me your damn name. I'll remember it after I get done filming it. But, uh... God, I can't believe I can't remember anyone's name. But there's a kind of a joke where she doesn't realize that cell phones exist. And she's still surprised when someone's talking to her on the phone. Because she's so used to talking in the office that they walk in while, while they're talking to her. And she flips out about it. Um, I don't know. Maybe that has something to do with uh, the thing David Lynch mentioned about uh, people watching movies on their phone and how stupid it is. Like, maybe it's just David Lynch's feelings about smartphones and stuff. But, uh, yeah, um, it's interesting. I like how they're... It seems like they're properly adapting the the 90s show into the modern day. Um but we'll see how where it goes from here. Uh, I'm not too sure like what's gonna where the story is gonna go. Uh, it kind of ended with uh, David Lynch's character uh, again. I'm not gonna remember his name. The the, the head FBI guy talking about the uh, this being another Blue Rose case, which they uh, mentioned in Firewalk with me. 
So, uh, yeah, um, it's intriguing, and I'm definitely looking forward to the next episode, which is going to be two weeks away now, but I'm definitely going to rewatch the first four episodes because it's got a lot of cool visuals and a lot of subtleties to it that I enjoy, and honestly, I'm shocked that it was even made because... I was under the impression that the original series was all we were going to get. And now we're here, and four episodes are out, and we have new information about the Twin Peaks world to digest. And as you can tell, I'm confused. Um, I Probably just because I'm filming, I can't... I get flustered, and I can't remember character names and stuff, but... uh. Yeah, there's just so many details. Uh, I'm definitely excited. I haven't been this excited about a TV series. Hell, I, I never review TV series on my YouTube channel, but this is the one TV series that makes me excited enough to make this video. So, yeah, that, that should tell you something. But uh, let me know your thoughts on the new episodes. I welcome... Any any comments like of your opinion, if you hated it, what you hated about it, definitely let me know. Um, personally, I love it. Uh, I'm excited to see more. It's it's not perfect. I mean, it does feel different. Um, there wasn't a lot of scenes in the actual Twin Peaks uh, town so far, but there's plenty more to come, so... I have a feeling we'll get plenty of that eventually, but uh, we'll see. So far, it's looking good, and I, I honestly, I like the new locations. I like the fact that uh, this story goes well beyond just the town of Twin Peaks, so it's cool. Uh, I hope it ha it's it's going to end with a uh, like a, a solid conclusion. Uh, I'm not sure. I think this might be the only season they're doing, but it would be cool if it got more than one season, but who knows? It might be a self-contained finale, but very cool. I guess we got 18 hours total of new Twin Peaks, so definitely awesome. The most, the, however much we get is better than <laughs> where the series was left at a huge cliffhanger, but... Anyways, guys, uh, that's my thoughts for now. Sorry, it's a little scrambled and not that well formulated. I just did this off the top of my head. But uh, anyways, let me know what you guys think of the new, the new uh, first four episodes. So anyways, peace out, everyone.